an astonishing collection of ancient evidential items and rediscovered historical factors have allowed the argument for an once lost history to have existed, all but now a foregone conclusion. A civilization at which some point in our distant past was lost, yet a once highly advanced worldwide culture. The proof that these ruins were all built by the same people or by those who were in contact with each other worldwide is now, we feel, overwhelming. Yet their technological capabilities were just as equally astonishing. Cut from nearly every type of strata, ruins with such precision, not only do they seemingly appear to have been cut with laser technologies, but the Barbara Caves is undoubtedly the jewel in the crown. When previously looked at by us, we were astonished by the finish of the cave's walls, both in surface and angle which, thankfully, due to the structure's sheltered nature, have survived for at least 2,300 years in incredible condition. Even more astounding, however, is that this precision has recently been confirmed using modern sonar-like technology, allowing for an incredibly detailed map of each cave to be created, each cave's image made from millions of points of reference revealing, for the first time in well over 2,000 years, just how incredible the creators of these cave systems were, a feat many now believe we could not achieve ourselves. Perfect 180 curvatures on the roofs, perfect 90-degree angles on the doorways, perfectly flat floors and perfectly vertical walls, the creation of the caves was simply perfect. We feel it is undeniable that whoever created these caves had in their possession incredibly advanced stone-cutting technologies. Yet, how this was done and with what are questions which we find hugely intriguing. The Earth, the blue marble, the third rock from the sun, and the place we all call home. Our entire existence, the entirety of humanity's experience, apart from a few space missions, of course, all occurred here upon our planet. The entirety of humanity, and as so far discovered or publicly disclosed, home to the entire fabric of advanced multicellular life within the entire infinity of our universe, all resting upon this tiny water-covered sphere, spinning its way through what would appear to be an endless space, a vast darkness, an unending void, yet one that is far from empty. For example, just within the observable universe, every nanometer of the sky, drenched in fusion producing balls of fire, stars, and other bodies, many of which are nearly identical to our sun. Yet our living planet has a double-edged sword, violent volcanic eruption, whose core is still molten, a geological consequence of a relatively young planet. All of life's complex ecosystems, many of which we depend upon each day, live on a knife edge. The sheer size of space, the vast emptiness, could be seen as a safety cushion. For in such an empty place, our tiny planetary body fills hardly a fraction of even our own galaxy. However, it's filled with moving bodies, comets set hurtling through space by past ancient events could one day hit our Earth, and have indeed done so in the past. And as mentioned in our previous video, we believe man may have experienced at least one of these events before, yet by luck or preparation, we survived. This assertion due to our in-depth research into the evidence of the many lost civilizations. In an instant, all this natural beauty all this seemingly fanatical trial and evolutionary error gone. All these marvelous creations, innovations, varieties, and even entire genuses gone in an instant, wiped from all but fossilized memory. Resetting our flourishing planet to a near ball of dust and ash, something we claim the academically denied ancient civilizations were also aware of. Here on our channel, we posit that the event the dinosaurs experienced, a catastrophic natural event, 
one which nearly wiped them all from the face of the earth, leaving only a handful of small-scale creatures, that man have experienced such events, and that the survivors of such not only went on to flourish, but went to great effort to not only prove they were once here, but were incredibly capable. Thus, as such, we believe ancients from all over the world, who are in communication with each other, please peruse our work on metal clamps, polygonal masonry, on the Basda Caves, and our many other videos, tool signatures, and so on, for support of this claim of a once world-going superpower. They deliberately chose incredibly hard stone, often sourced from many miles away, incredibly hard to work, these granite, basalt, sandstone, and other stone megaliths, additionally often of gigantic size, would survive the test of time, resisting a tremendous amount before fading into the chasm of history. We claim this to have been done to say we were here. Long Yu Caves and Yangshan Quarry, China, Petra, Jordan, Aswan Quarry, Egypt, Basda Cave, and many other sites display the same curious stone cut as our anomaly in question in tonight's video. Located within India, a country drenched in antiquity, much mysterious, baffling, and just as awe-inspiring as any other sites found anywhere else on Earth. One such feature, the Butterwell. It's located within a group of monuments at Mahabali Puram. Not only does it appear as a giant drill hole into solid rock, but the tool marks, far too symmetrical to have been created with primitive tools, as suggested, is but yet another anomaly which we claim displays several proofs of a hidden history and indeed technological creation. We find the butter well highly compelling. While perusing the many perplexing sites we are yet to cover on our channel, we stumbled across something which could quite possibly be a massive clue, evidence left as to the method of construction of many ancient sites found all over Earth. Our channel has, for a long time, put forward the hypothesis that a highly advanced worldwide civilization once flourished here on our planet. We believe that many of the ancient sites which display unexplained architecture were left by this lost people, placed far within our distant past. And once one begins to investigate these ruins with this possibility in mind, you start to notice some compelling things regarding these amazing sites. For example, the metal clamps we have previously covered, often created using impressive mixes of alloys and somehow poured molten could now be seen as earlier architectural examples less than the mortarless, mysteriously notched stonework, also found in similar areas all over the world, with the more precise and thus more impressive stonework, seen as a later, more sophisticated method of construction. What's more, although virtually all ancient sites have been dated to the most convenient suspects within known taught history, there also exists the numerous caves and temples hewn from the solid bedrocks, carved with such accuracy and vision, they elude recreation even by our modern-day technology. And while looking at an amazing rock-cut cave within the site of Mamalapuram, India, a site we are now convinced was left by this same civilization, a curious piece of evidence seemingly presented itself. Upon the roughly finished roof of this ancient cave is evidence left by the same technology used to not only cut the astonishingly huge Long Yu Caves, but also the abandoned Langshan Quarry, both in China. This discovery, we believe, is only just the beginning of a realization that these telltale signatures are present at many other unexplained sites around the world. We have long stipulated that many of the ancient ruins claimed by our more modern-day ancestors are most likely not their actual creations. If the structure does date to this more recent age, they are usually found to be sitting upon the telltale remnants of a highly precise ancient foundation originally left by this elusive group. Who were these amazing people? When did they flourish here on Earth? What happened to them? 
why did they never record how they created such wonders? Although it is easy for skeptics to argue that the caves and architecture were merely created through excruciating hard labor, any practical demonstration of this has eluded us for many centuries. Furthermore, many of the extensive cave excavations found all over the world, presumably dating back to this bygone age, are all absent any waste, as if the machine tasked with creating these underground labyrinths turned stone to dust. And although the technology and or possible machinery tasked with the job has evaded modern archaeology to this point, it is clearly another piece of evidence which takes us one step closer to unraveling the true history of our planet. There are many areas of modern historical study, and the conclusions thereof, which not only are incorrect, but carefully planned, highly funded, and precisely executed convolutions of our true history. Theft of our true origins and what lost civilizations were once capable of creating, systematically obliterating our heritage all around us, something the channel witnesses on a daily basis. There are many possible reasons for the motivation for such callous actions, yet all are ultimately found to have nefarious intentions, greed, power, control, and paradigm. With funded academics complicit in this destruction, there is now very little MH has not covered, investigated, or encountered regarding antiquarian subject matter. As such, is now utterly convinced the timeline for the history of humans is far larger, far greater, and far more spectacular than any religious, geological, archaeological, historical, or any other academically funded field or institute, who greatly profit from the propping up such continued misconceptions will ever willingly admit. It is up to all of us to remain thorns in the sides of institutional liars. The truth is out there, but one must be relentless in their pursuit of it. To those who fund the travesty, who publish the fallacy, is all a big game, a power play to preserve an already well-established deception. Yet as mentioned, these strategic moves are not only isolated to our modern era. In reality, they have always been a consequence of greedy, psychopathic, power-hungry individuals throughout the ages. Incredible, still unexplained sites, re-inhabited by our more recent ancestors, who strategically began to claim them as their work, with modern academics using a similar strategy for their own beneficial motives. The past invaders, motivated by the illusionary sense of power and intimidation, which would have struck fear or respect for their seemingly magical capabilities into the hearts of any surrounding group. This power play strategy, also used by modern academia, using the vast array of said individual's artifacts, excavated at each site to support their posit for structural origin. This always regardless of the complete absence of any claimed culture leaving any diagrams, messages, or anything, not one shred of evidence showing these claimed culprits knew how to construct them, a vast portion of the general public simply go away, presuming those running the studies know all about who built these sites and how. Thus, those unfamiliar with the anomalies we cover can easily make a forgivable oversight as these charlatans openly declare they do indeed know who built them, resulting in a mass of misplaced faith from individuals unaware of the concealed features and the hidden agenda by the institutes who bribe others through the academic funding structure, manipulating those with limited information of such sites. Academics put tremendous effort into being perceived as intellectually superior to us all. This is solely for the purpose of financial gain, as if they are perceived as being more knowledgeable, by default they possess a greater influence, as such, can uphold misconceptions and concealment of the controversial and the contradictory. We often stumble upon unexplainable anomalies, sites claimed as the work of civilizations that were simply incapable of such feats. Polygonal masonry, enormous megalithic block walls, and rare but crucial polygonal floors, 
We have also recognized signature block work, found in many different countries, with many ancient stone builds ingeniously put together, weight-bearing architecture such as the lintel in the treasury of Atreus, that due to its accurate and complex design, is simply preposterous to attempt to claim as the work of a group of ancestors which we know predates our own modern understandings of such techniques. Yet regardless, academic explanations insult our intelligence by still claiming such ridiculous explanations. It seems that due to the fact that academia not only wants to continue to appear accurate and all-knowing in their explanations as to who built said structures, but also due to the clearly funded structure and the orchestrated efforts to conceal our past, is also to possibly conceal realizations that could arise within one's ponderings from the exposure of the complete picture of inexplicable, technologically advanced ruins. Not only are many of these sites ignored, but many have experienced tremendous levels of vandalism and destruction. As mentioned, many of the most impressive ancient sites have had many of their most impressive engineering legacies stolen. Lots were adapted and claimed as another's creation. The Roman road, Roman columns, blinds, etc. The Great Pyramids, claimed as the work of copper-wielding ancient Egyptians. Each of these supposed accomplishments by these supposed constructors are all absent any explanation as to how they constructed such wonders and those techniques found to have been used by these groups. The channel suspects were replicated for if they were engineered by these groups, how did they consistently make such tremendous leaps in such tiny time frames? It seems highly illogical and convenient that these occurrences of rapid technological development have all been found to have occurred within or near these still unexplained ruins. This clearly seems to have been due to the fact that just as we don't know how they were constructed, neither did our distant ancestors. They would have undoubtedly looked upon such accomplishments with awe and respect, a reaction they eventually crave from their enemies and allies alike. However, although these unexplained ruins claimed by these civilizations are absent any explanation as to their construction, they do still fortunately possess countless features missed by the thieves of our heritage, which not only support all I have claimed for over three years. A motive for this would be an attempt to support the mainstream paradigm of the builders of such. Yet it is nothing more than deceit, with modern movies involving these theaters, merely an attempt to warp one's impression of their true purpose and origins. For example, Delphi in Greece, a site we have covered in the past, is one of the only sites we are aware of which still contains a near pristine picture of the building techniques once present at sites which contain ancient amphitheaters. Segesta is still another little-known, rarely shared temple ruin that, due to this continued propaganda regarding Roman responsibility, is merely overlooked or rather dismissed and brushed under the rug, nothing more than another one of their many ancient ruins. However, the channel perceives such sites in a different light. Not only does it contain an amphitheater, one suspiciously robbed out of its stage stonework. But Delphi is clearly of a very similar age, with Delphi still displaying a polygonal stage floor. Yet at Segesta, a group of individuals, perhaps from a certain institute which shall not be named, who have for over a century been repeatedly reported as actively seeking out, buying, stealing, and eventually concealing many controversial artifacts. Yet the deliberate destruction of features, such as the stone at these sites, is beyond the pale. These structures have survived millennia until primitive beliefs poisoned our species to such an extent that they destroy the truth in favor of their fictional storybooks. The temple, although predictably now missing its roof, still contains features that not only fly in the face of academic teaching but reinforces our conclusions of the sites having a far greater antiquity than the Greeks. And regardless of the attempts to destroy its advanced anomalies, advanced features are also found in the foundation blocks, out of reach of this group of morally deficient vigilantes. 
protuberances. These enigmatic notches are a signature we have already identified previously as an enigmatic feature, a signature of a lost civilization, one which we call the polygonal civilization. Additionally, the incredible levels of pitting found upon the columns is clearly demonstrative of many eons of erosion. In a mainly temperate climate, this process of erosion would be considerably slower than that of a more abrasive or damp environment, making such erosion scars much slower to form, thus much older than what would witness in a location with far greater variation in seasonal conditions. Indicative of its unimaginable age is but another structure claimed to date from the Greek and Roman eras. Yet when the condition of said temple is compared to other structures known for a fact to have dated from the same supposed era, it clearly exposes not only academia's conspiracy, but that they are indeed remnants left by a now lost, highly advanced civilization. They are, undoubtedly, highly compelling.